فاشرف بي لاشتغال بالعلم ولا تبغي به ما عشت يا ذا بدلا ويا له من شرف عظيم هي سيز الصحيح الذي عليه الجمهور أن التواتر ليس له عدد محصور والعلم الحاصل بخبر من الأخبار يحصل في القلب ضرورة كما يحصل الشبع شبع عقيب الأكل والري عند الشرب وليس لما يشبع كل واحد ويرويه قدر معين بل قد يكون الشبع لكثرة الطعام وقد يكون لجودته كاللحم وقد يكون لاستغناء الآكل بقليله وقد يكون لاشتغال نفسه بفرح أو غضب أو حزن ونحو ذلك كذلك العلم الحاصل عقيب الخبر ثارة يكون لكثرة المخبرين وإذا كثروا فقد يفيد خبر خبرهم العلم وإن كانوا كفارا وتارة يكون لدينهم وضبطهم فرب رجلين أو ثلاثة يحصل من العلم بخبرهم ما لا يحصل بعشرة وعشرين لا يوثق بدينهم وضبطهم وتارة قد يحصل العلم بكون كل من المخبرين أخبر بمثل ما أخبر به الآخر ما العلم بأنه ما لم يتواطأ وأنه يمتنع في العادة الاتفاق في مثل ذلك مثل من يروي حديثا طويلا فيه فصول ويرويه آخر ما لم, يقل ما لم يلقه وتارة يحصل العلم بالخبر لمن عنده الفطنة فطنة والذكاء والعلم بأحوال المخبرين وبما أكبر به ما ليس لمن له مثل ذلك وتارة يحصل العلم بالخبر لكونه روي بحضرة جماعة كثيرة شارك المخبر في العلم ولم يكذب أحد منهم فإن الجماعة الكثيرة قد يمتنع تواطؤهم على الكتمان كما يمتنع تواطؤهم على الكذب وإذا عرف أن العلم بأخبار المخبرين له أسباب غير, م... غير مجرد العدد علم أن من قيد العلم بعدد معين وسوى وسوى بين جميع الأخبار في ذلك فقد غلط غلطا عظيما انتهى كلامه شيخ الإسلام ابن تيمية he said the view that's correct in this particular issue in which the majority of the scholars are of, of the Jumur al-Ulam that the tawatur has no restricted amount he doesn't he doesn't have adad al-mahsul And the reality of the matter is, the reality of the matter is, when well, the real conclusion, the correct observation is that it's based upon what brings about benef what brings about certainty and necessitates certainty in the heart. For example, Ibn Taymiyyah says, you might, you might have a cup of water that may not, it may not give this person, uh, fill up this person, but it might fill up this person. It might not fill this person, it might fill up this person. Just the same food. So, huh? Sometimes you may get full up with a food, not because it was a lot. So, huh? Maybe because of other things. It happens. Maybe because of the quality of the food. It was actually little, but the quality was so good, it filled you up, mashallah. Another piece of food, uh, it doesn't fill you up, but it's a lot that you're taking in. But it just doesn't fill you up. Good. Or sometimes a person might be surprised with a little bit of food, he said. He might be surprised. Why? Because his, his mind is busy, because he's, over, he's very happy. He's very, very happy. He's getting married. So excited. Oh, Ghadabin, oh, he's very, very angry. So he, he ate a little bit, he just doesn't want to eat anymore. Oh, Huznin, he's, he's feeling, uh, his marriage is collapsing. Oh, his mother passed away or something. So he's very saddened. So now that same food, food that would fill him up yesterday will not fill him up because of her. So Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah, he said, كَذَلِكَ الْعِلْمُ الْحَاصِلِ عَقِيبَ الْخَبَرِ The same effect is when the knowledge the issue of ilm al how, how this issue would benefit you, that knowledge where it's like, I don't need to see, I believe it 100%. It will be, when the person tells you, is the same effect when it comes to food, he said. Sometimes he said that the, the ilm may come from taratin yakun al mukhbirina. The people are telling you, the number is what gives you certain certainty. You're like, wow, a lot of people told me, man. What, some, sometimes he said, 
And he said, Tarat and Yakuli Kathar Tim Kubirina, where Ila Katharu Fakadu Fidu Khabarum al Ilm. And their statement, because there's so much in number, their statement gives you certainty. Even if they're kuffar, they're kuffar, they told you. Okay, you met a kafir here randomly and he told you about China. Another one told you about China. Another one, another one. You're like, wow, subhan, China does exist, huh? Are you with me? They're too much in number, now it becomes certainty. And sometimes what gives you the certainty is not really the number, it's actually the religion of these people. It's three righteous individuals whose nobility and righteousness is beyond comprehension. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? But there are three people, or there are four people. These are ulama, rasikhun. Oh, they're not even the ulama, but they're really not those who will tell you a lie. Their statement becomes what? Certainty. Four individuals told me certainty. I'm not, going to even, I'm not even going to look into it. Sahih, it happens, right? And those four people might sometimes be more stronger in your eyes than ten people, you know. I don't know about you ten brothers. But we're more in number. We're mutawatir. This is Aziz or this is Mashur or this is Gharib. Sahih? You're like, mm-mm, Allahu Akbar. I don't know about you ten. This far four brothers or these three brothers or these two brothers are, are giving me certainty in this matter. So Shaykh Hussam Taymiyyah, this is what he elaborates on. Does that make sense? So he mentions that Rahimullah Ta'ala. So anyways, the point of being it being connected to Adad is not there, brothers and sisters. Okay? We should look at numbers. That's what Ibn Taymiyyah is pushing. He's saying we should really look at what? What benefits? Ah, so anything that's, that brings yaqeen, certainty, that brings certainty, and it brings that conviction is what is mutawatir, not the number. That's what he's saying. Number two, أَنْ يَسْتَحِيلَ فِي الْعَادَةِ تَوَاطُوهُمْ عَلَى الْكَذِبِ The second condition is أَنْ يَسْتَحِيلَ فِي الْعَادَةِ تَوَاطُوهُمْ عَلَى الْكَذِبِ The next condition that we stipulate is what? Is that أَنْ يَسْتَحِيلَ فِي الْعَادَةِ تَوَاطُؤُهُمْ عَلَى الْكَذِبِ That it's, it's impossible for them to come together uh, in line about this matter. Okay? They can't. Um, maybe because they're in different countries and different places. They've not, they don't even know each other. One in China tells you this and another one in Australia tells you something else. And another one in America tells you something and one in Somalia tells you something. And they're all telling you what? They're all turning the same thing. They can't, you're going to think to yourself, how can all these people have, it's, to, it's mustahil, they couldn't have met each other and made this up and lied up. صح? So here the lying that could come from these individuals is very far-fetched. There's no way that they could have come together. وَلِذَلِكَ الْإِمَامُ خَطِيبُ الْبَغْدَادِيُّ سَيْزَ إِنِّسْ كِتَابَ الْكِفَايَةِ He says, خَبَرُ التَّوَاتِرُ هُوَ مَا يُخْبِرُ بِهِ الْقَوْمُ الَّذِينَ يَبْلُغُ عَدَدُهُمْ حَدًّا يُعْلَمُ عِنْدَ مُشَاهِدِيهِمْ بِمُسْتَقَرِّ الْعَادَةِ أَنَّ اتِّفَاقَ الْكَذِبِ مِنْهُمْ مُحَالُ وَأَنَّ التَّوَاطُؤَ مِنْهُمْ فِي مِقْدَارِ الْوَقْتِ الَّذِي انْتَجَرَ الْخَبَرُ عَنْهُمْ فِيهِ مُتَعَذِّرٌ وَأَنَّ مَا أَخْبَرُوهُ عَنْهُ لَا يَجُوزُ الدُّخُولُ اللَّبْسِ وَالشُّبْهَةِ فِي مِثْرِهِ وَأَنَّ أَسْبَابَ الْقَهْرِ وَالْغَلَبَةِ وَالْأُمُورِ الدَّاعِيَةِ إِلَى الْكَذِبِ مُنْتَفِيَةٌ عَنْهُمْ فَمَتَى تَوَاتَرَ الْخَبَرُ عَنْ قَوْمٍ هَذِهِ سَبِيلُهُمْ قُطِعَ عَلَى صِدْقِهِ وَأَوْجَبَ وُقُوعَ الْعِلْمِ ضَرُورَةً So he says that, رَحِمَ اللَّهُ تَعَالَى that these individuals, the norms will not allow for them to unite on this. Meaning you can't see any, any external force, any external reason, you can't see a motive of why these people would come together and lie about this issue. Okay? It may be not, if maybe if they have the same agenda and they are they have the same agenda, then you can say, oh, I can see a motive of why they would lie. But there's nothing. There's no 
subjugation and them being forced into it. None of those forced, external forces or things that you can see that makes you think to yourself, these people could lie. They don't know each other, they don't even speak the same language, they don't, and they're all saying the same thing. The Shaykh Rahimullah then said, Khadir al-Baghdadi, فَمَتَى تَوَاتَرَ الْخَبَرُ عَنْ قَوْمِ مِنْ هَذِهِ السَّبِيلُ And any time this becomes transmitted to us from a people whose situation is like this, قُطِعَ صدقه. We say this is a true statement now. وَأَوْجَبَ وُقُوعَ الْعِلْمِ ضَرُورَةً Okay? And it becomes obligatory that this matter becomes knowledge-based for us, meaning it becomes certainty for us. The third condition that we say is أَنْ يَقَعَ ذَلِكَ فِي كُلِّ طَبَقَاتِ الْإِسْنَادِ So number... أن يقع ذلك في كل الطبقات الإسنادية. That this happens in all of the chain of narration. So the third condition is أن يقع ذلك that this this takes place في كل الطبقات الإسنادية in all of the chain. What do we mean by that? That this number has to happen in every level of the chain. So you can't have fifty, fifty, one. 50, 50, you can't. Does that make sense? It can't happen that the large number that you had in all of the chain has to take place through the beginning to the end. It has to be through the beginning to the end. It can't stop at a particular point. Okay? Are we all together? All of the conditions that we just mentioned, the first two conditions that we just mentioned, it has to happen in all of the chain. Okay? And when we say in number, we're just making it easier. We just took the call of Shaykh al Taymiyyah, meaning the ilmul yaqini has to take place in all of the tabaqat al sanad. <coughs> and the second condition, which is that they can't come t- together in lying about something, has to happen in all of the chain. Okay? It has to be in the time of the Sahabas, so that already is present that we know. But the, num- the, the, the ilmul yaqini has to also be there, and it also has to be in the same level of the tabi'een, and then the tabi'u tabi'een, it has to be like that. Good. Does that make sense? Number four. أَنْ يَكُونَ مُسْتَنَدُ اجْتِمَاعِهِمُ الْحِسَّةِ Number four. The fourth one is أن يكون مستند مستند اجتماعهم الحساء That all of this goes back to So if a thousand people are narrating something to you It all has to go back to what? It all has to go back to each person It has to go back to I heard I saw I was told It has to be his It has to be something that's what? Tangible he can't be told, oh, somebody told me. Okay, who's that person? Not, so you weren't at the event when it happened. Okay, so you're not a part of it. You're not, you're not going to be in Mutawatir. Get out of it. You're not in the list. Does that make sense? Every single person who's talking about the event has to have seen the event. Does that make sense? Part, they, they were there. So it has to go back to something which is his tangible. Okay, he can't be always oh, informed or was told. Because sometimes what happens is that a large number of people may say something, but if you look at each one, no one from within, within those 50 people have actually were, were there when that thing happened. So, investigate sometimes when accusations are put forward. Okay, allegations are put forward, rumors are made. Every single body, what is he going to say? I heard, I was told, I was informed, and the chain is always disconnected. So you can't say, Akhi, these number of people, this is a multitude narration, oh, a lot of people have said. None of these people go back to ijtima'ahumul hiss. No one goes back to hiss. 
It's no one's tangible. Okay? And this is something that is very, very vital. And because of this, many matters go wrong. Many matters go wrong. So, many mashakir happen. I'm going, to I'm going to tell you guys a funny story. And Imam Sakhawi mentioned in Sharh al Fiat al Iraqi. Are you, there? Are you guys there? And Imam al Sakhawi mentioned in the Sharh of uh, al Fiat al Iraqi, which he called the Fatul Muid. The Kitab is called Fatul Muid. About this issue of something not going back to a tangible source. He says, Sakhawi says, Hada kullu ma'akoni mustanad intihai il his. Meaning the mutawatir, the source it goes back to has to be his. Min mushahadatin or sama'in. So it has to be something, oh, I saw it or I, I heard it. لَأَنَّ مَا لَا يَكُونُ كَذَلِكَ يَحْتَمِلُ دُخُولُ الْغَلَطِ فِي وَنَحْوِهِ Because anything that doesn't go back to I saw or I heard is a mistake can go into it. كَمَا اتَّفَقَ أَنَّ سَائِلًا سَأَلَ مَوْلَى أَبِي عَوَانَةَ بِمِنَا This is the story. And he said, as a, a questioner asked the Mawla of Abi Awana in Mina, He said that كما أن كما كما أن اتفق سائلا أن سائلا سأل مولا a questioner asked مولا أبي عوانة the slave of أبي عوانة بمنا إن منا فلم يعطيه شيء and he didn't give him anything he asked him for something he gave him something he didn't give him anything فلم and he refused to give it to him so okay good you're not gonna give it to me no problem فَلَمَّا وَلَّى لَحِقَّهُ أَبُوْ عَوَانَةَ فَأَعْطَاهُ دِينَارًا So when he met Abi Awana, what did he do? He gave him one dinar. فَقَالَ لَهُ السَّائِلْ The questioner said, وَاللَّهِ لَأَنْفَعَنَّكَ يَا أَبَا عَوَانَ أَبَا عَوَانَ For the dinar that you gave me, I'm going to benefit you for that. So Abu Awana is a slave, sorry. Abu Awana is a slave for a master. His master is known as Yazid ibn Ata al -Layfi. So he asked Yazid ibn Ata al -Layfi for the money. He refused to give it to him. Abu Awana gave a dinar to him. Are you with me? He gave him a dinar. And so he said, I promise you this dinar that you've given me is going to benefit you. So the question I said, oh, he thought, so how can I benefit him? I'm not a rich person. I have nothing. He said, but I will benefit you. أصبحوا, when in the morning the dawn broke, and the people wanted to go to Muzdalifa. The questioner stat stood on the path and he said to the people, anybody who, he said, anybody who sees Yazid ibn Ata al-Layfi, go and thank him. Because today he went close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in what? In freeing um, Abi Awana. In freeing him. So because this is Muzdalifa, this is how many people? This is thousands and thousands and thousands of people. It's a number you can't count. So the people started to come into the property of Yazid ibn, uh, Yazid ibn Ata al-Layti and saying to him, thank you very much for freeing Ata. He hasn't freed him. Because the number is too much, he can't stop the people now. But all of those people, Mustanaduhum is what? Where does it go back to? It just, goes one to one, it just goes back to one person. I mean, there's no validity for this. So when he saw all of them, people just keep coming and keep coming. And he can't, each one you can't say to them, I didn't. But there's another a group will come. So he said after, Who is able to reject all of these people? Leave your freedom. So he benefited him with the dinar, right? 
they benefited. So that's, that's how he got freed. And you also know the story that was said about the Prophet Sallallahu that the Prophet divorced all of his wives, nine wives. There was a time that the Prophet Sallallahu boycotted all of his wives, 29 nights. He stayed away from all of them. 29 nights, there was a khilaf, a dispute that happened. So the Prophet left all of his wives. He left and he went to the masjid and he stayed there. So the news that spread in Medina was that the Prophet divorced his wives, the Prophet divorced his wives, the Prophet divorced his wives. And from the people whose daughters were in there was who? Who the Prophet was married to? Umar and his daughter, Hafsa, right? So when that happens, you need to want, so he stood up and he went to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So the news spread, Medina, everybody's talking about it. So Umar radiallahu ta'ala anhu, he said, Ya Rasulullah, did you divorce your wives? The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa raised his head up and he said to him, no. No, I didn't. So half of the Hajjah brought a benefit out of this. You know, when a news doesn't go back to, all of those people are spreading the news, but no one can actually say to you, I was there when the Prophet did it. None of them have istinad hissi. Does that make sense? Are you with me? وَلِذَلِكَ حَافِظُ الْحَجَرِ سَيْرَ رَحِمُ اللَّهِ تَعَالَى وَفِي الْحَدِيثِ أَنَّ الْأَخْبَارَ الَّتِي تُشَاعُ وَلَوْ كَتُرَ نَاقِرُوهَا He says that information and the news that are spread, even if those who are transmitting are large in number, that people who are saying it are so much, إِنْ لَمْ يَكُنْ مَرْجِعُهَا إِلَىٰ أَمْرٍ حِسِّي If each individual, you, did you hear it? No, null and void. You, didn't hear it, null and void. You, each person, if it doesn't go back to a, I was there when he said it, I saw it, if it doesn't go back to any of that, then لَا تَسْتَلْزِمُ الصِّدْقَى We don't believe it. Even if 9 million people are saying it in the world. Does that make sense? We don't care. The number doesn't really get to us. What, what, what we take on board is, do you guys go back to al his Were you there when this happened? Were you present? Did you see it? No. And then he goes, فَإِنَّ جَزْمَ الْأَنصَارِ The Ansari man said to Umar, طَلَّقَ النَّبِيُّ نِسَاءَهُ He made it jazm. He didn't even, he said that the Prophet divorced his wife. He didn't say it was said. رضي الله تعالى عنه That shows you how easy it would be able for a person to take on something which if they just, just took this principle on board, which is what? Who did you hear it from? Who told you? Okay, who is he? Okay, can you bring him to me so I can ask him? And you verify the chain, 90% of the things that you actually believe regarding a person, 90% of it is actually null and void. You realize that, wallah. So much things have been told to you regarding, and you guys all really recently know, a news that was spread regarding a person's personal life, and who from amongst us was there when it happened? Who from amongst us saw it? Who from amongst us was, was present? No. So why are you going to take the burden Imam Allah Ta'ala the day of judgment? Why will you take it on your scale for something you have no hiss or no tangible for it? Remember, when we say something is mutawatir, social media is not from it. Okay? When we say as-sam'u wal mushahada, seeing something and hearing something, social media is the first thing that we take out of the window. Okay? No, 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 no. And this is what happened. A lot of the people were indulging into things that they had no knowledge of. Or they weren't aware of it. Sahih? And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not like just because a person differs aqeedah reasons with a person and you have an aqeedah reason that you would use any means to get the person. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he does not like a person whose personality is like that. Are you with me? Verify. I promise you, a lot of the times you're going to save yourself a lot of stress. Okay? You're going to self, self, self yourself a lot of problems. And I realized even many divorces that have happened between wife and husband, it was based upon what? It was based upon not taking this qa'id on board. If you, friends that broke apart, things were being told to them, information was being given to both parties that had no asanid for it, no chain. And even the chain that went, it was not based on his and mushahada. It wasn't based on as, it wasn't based on his. It was nothing that was hissy tangible. Does that make sense? It happened. You all know Haditha to Ifki. I ask you, brothers, this story of the Prophet and the statement that was said, Talak and Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and isa'ahu. Read what Ibn Hajar said. He said something very powerful about it. Wallah, he said something very powerful. Go and read it. Okay? You fawaid will come out for it for you, inshaAllah ta'ala. Also, the issue of the issue of Haditha to Ifki, the event that took place regarding the forged 
and the false accusation against our mother Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha. The people were talking about it and the people were spreading the news. The person who took on the largest burden of this is the Munafiq Abdullah ibn Ubay ibn Salon who started the line. But there were believers, righteous companions, noble companions who were spreading the news. They spread the news. But they were righteous, noble companions. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be pleased with them. But their statement, was it going back to his and was it something tangible? That was the reason. That's what Allah said in the Quran. You're saying something with your mouth and you're spreading a news. You're saying something and a statement, this happened, this took place, this took place. But in reality, you have no knowledge of it. What's the knowledge here? It doesn't go back to his. It's not tangible. Did you see it? Were you there? And Allah then says, وَتَحْسَبُونَهُ هَيِّنًا You think this matter is very light. In the eyes of Allah, it's big. To accuse a person of zina, to accuse a person of sleeping with somebody. Something very big. Does that make sense? If the individual testifies, that's his, then now, okay, Jamil. If he says that, and he says, I did do it, this is something else. Okay? But the point of the matter is, Wallahi, you, Ilmul Hadith, brothers, is one science that actually it, studying it and learning its theories actually changes your life if you apply it in your day to day life. If you just change, play, uh, if you apply it to your day to day life, you know why? Because these people live by the Prophet's way. Their principles and their qawaid and everything about their religion, uh, their, 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 their science is all based upon the way that the Prophet was. And that's why the people of Hadith are the people of the Prophet They're the people of the Prophet even if even that they haven't met him. And some of them haven't seen him. But they live like him. They act like him. They remind you of him. So pay attention to that. So we take it back to what, brothers and sisters, when a narration for it to be mutawatir, what does we say? Ayyakuna mustanadu ijtima'ihimul hissa. It has to go back to Al-Hiss. It has to go back to Al-Hiss. And there's another point as a side benefit I need to mention. Brothers and sisters, if a person does a sin privately, privately, this is a sin which is private. And it's a sin that he's doing, is a sin between him and Allah. It doesn't involve him calling the people to it. He's not preaching this sin. He smokes privately. If you came across him smoking, Shar'an, it's haram for you to, for you to bring it out in the open. Are you with me? You know a brother smokes or drinks. He does this privately. He does it behind his door, closed doors. He commits zina, but he does it privately. You advise him. You talk to him about it. You scare him. You remind him the severity of this action of his. You. But since it's private, it should never, ever, ever be brought out into the public. Are you with me, brothers? <coughs> Sin stay behind closed doors. Um, and it's funny because sometimes to some people the sin is not as big as the innovation is. صح? Which one is worse? Innovation or a sin? Huh? If somebody told you Fulan today is a Mubtadir and if somebody said to you he's a Zani, which one will you take bigger? Billahi alaykum. Yeah? I hope so. But a lot of people will take which one worse? Which one? Yeah. It's a zani, right? Are you there? If somebody told you Fulan is a zani and if Fulan is a muqtadir, he has a bid'ah, aqadi. Are you there? Are you with me? Which one is worse? Innovation, Innovation is worse, huh? But the people see which one worse? The one that commits zina. So there's a problem here. There's a problem here. Shaitan loves kufr. And then he loves bid'ah, and then he loves sins. Okay? He does. Good. The fifth and final uh, condition is that the author, rahimahullah, mentioned, uh, mentioned in his sharah. He didn't mention uh, elsewhere. He mentioned in his sharah.
think this one, the fifth condition, we can actually put it back into the first one that we mentioned, which is basically it has to benefit us certainty. So it has to, sorry, it has to benefit us knowledge, which is certainty, ilm, which is daruri. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? And this we can put it in, we, we already mentioned it in the explanation of what? When we were talking about the number. When we were talking about the number. Insha'Allah ta'ala, mashhur is, is, an, is the next one we're going to go through. So we're going to start now Ahad. Okay, and then when we go into Ahad, we're going to go into mashhur. We're going to go into Aziz, and then we're going to go to Gharib. And uh, I'll leave all of that for next lesson, insha'Allah ta'ala. Anything which I have said that was wrong, it was incorrect. It was a mistake, slip of the tongue. It's from me and shaitan and Allah and his messenger are free from it. Subhanak Allahumma bihamdik. Ashadu an la ilaha illallah. Astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayhi.